with rents and housing prices alike as they are, it means that long term we're going to see just very specific demographics of people who are able to afford to live in this city. Vancouver once again has the highest rents in the country, according to new national rental data. Rental housing experts say those costs aren't just forcing out people earning a minimum wage, but also pushing skilled workers out of the city. I can count five of my colleagues over the last six weeks who have opted to leave the city and that includes uh, social workers, nurses, nurse practitioners and family physicians because they're completely priced out of the rental market. Serena Eagland is a nurse in Vancouver and has been renting for nine years. She says her former colleagues have left the city because they want to have kids or have a different quality of life that isn't possible with Vancouver rents. If skilled workers can't afford to live in the city, what does that mean for our other frontline workers like grocery stores? our workers, um, our servers, all of those sorts of trades as well. Well, the long-term impacts is that we are uh, hollowing out as a, a community where there are people, um, you know, higher income people who can afford uh, to live in Vancouver and the very poor who don't have very many options. Penny Gerstein with the UBC Housing Research Collaborative says census data has shown patterns of people moving away and choosing to do jobs closer to where they live. She says it means Vancouver is losing people essential to the city's functioning community and its identity. We are creating a, a, a city that doesn't have a soul. The, the vitality of our commercial sector, the vitality of, of, of our you know, small businesses, the vitality of our, our cultural institutions are all in jeopardy right now. The national report from Rentals.ca shows Metro Vancouver has the highest average rents in the country, with people living here paying an average of $2,300 a month. That's an increase of 18% compared to last year. Vancouverites pay the most, with an average apartment rent of about $27.50 per month. Compare that to the national average for a one-bedroom place of $1,500. I actually can't imagine what it will look like in 20 years if this isn't fixed. Eaglin says she's fortunate to have a stable rental situation in the city. Vancouver City Council is set to vote on the Broadway plan on Wednesday. If passed, it could impact tens of thousands of renters, many of whom are worried about getting displaced. But the city is hoping to include in the plan tenant protections that will help those people stay in their neighborhoods, possibly at the same rents or lower. I think we really really need to um, improve our density in this city while we think about the current tenants. Obviously, displacement is never ideal, but those are some really good protections uh, in comparison to what we have now. In Vancouver, Kirjuno, City News.